Welcome to Freedom. In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to block apps, websites, and other distractions using Freedom. Let's take a look. To get started, you'll want to head on over to freedom.to and sign up for a Freedom account. You can also use the sign up options on any of the app login screens. When you use Freedom, you can start and manage your blocking sessions from any device and block apps and websites on multiple devices at the same time. Freedom is supported on Mac, Windows, Android, and iOS, and you can even use our browser extension to block sites when using Linux or Chrome. You can download our Mac and Windows apps at freedom.to slash downloads and install our mobile apps from the App Store or Google Play Store. For each device, make sure you log into Freedom using the email and password that you signed up with and follow the prompts and instructions for installing permissions and settings. This workflow will be slightly different depending on the version of the app you're installing, but if you need any help, there are step-by-step -step instructions on our knowledge base at support.freedom.to. If you've installed Freedom on Windows, you can find it running in the system tray. Click on the butterfly icon to see the menu. On Mac, Freedom runs in the menu bar at the top of your screen. We recommend keeping Freedom always active on your devices so that your sessions start and stop on time. You can manage your Freedom account from any of your devices, but a great place to start is your web dashboard. Here you can manage your connected devices, start and schedule your block sessions, and manage your block lists. Your Freedom account will come with a default block list, but you can create a new one by clicking the Add Block Lists button. Here you can choose categories to block, like all social media or news, or you can choose specific services and apps. You can also enter specific URLs for sites or apps that you want to block. Now let's start a block session. From the dashboard, you can start a Freedom session right away, choose a time later in the day to start, or schedule your sessions to begin and end on certain days of the week. Starting a session is as easy as choosing how long your session will last for, selecting your devices, and then choosing which block lists to use. If you're blocking apps, make sure you select the apps that you want to block first on the device itself. You can do this on Mac or Windows by selecting the Manage Blocked Apps option. On Android, you'll choose your blocked apps on the Block Lists tab. On iOS, Freedom blocks content in the apps by blocking the network connection for your apps, so your block lists are all that's needed for your sessions. Let's start our session from the dashboard and see how the blocking works. On Mac and Windows, you'll see the Freedom green screen when you try to go to a blocked site, and you'll be prevented from using your blocked apps. On Android, blocked apps will close automatically, and you'll be prevented from going to any blocked sites. On iOS devices, blocked apps will still open, but Freedom will block the network connection for the app to prevent content from showing up. You may still see cached or previously downloaded content in some apps. For more tutorials, visit our knowledge base at support.freedom.to or contact us by email at support.freedom.to. Thanks for choosing Freedom.